Welcome to the world of yoga. Let us start yoga sadhana with chalana kriyas or loosening practices to increase microcirculation. Neck exercises, forward and backward neck bending. Stand in an alert posture. Keep feet comfortably apart and your arms on the waist. Exhale and bend head forward slowly and try to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, move the head as far back as is comfortable and come back with inhalation. Right and left neck bending. Exhale, bend the head slowly to the right. Bring the ear as close as possible to the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to normal position. Exhale, bend to the left side. Inhale, bring the head up to normal position. Right and left twisting. Exhale, gently turn is in line with the shoulder. Inhale, bring the head to the normal position. Exhale, turn the head to the left side. Inhale and bring the head to the normal position. Neck rotation. Bend the head forward trying to touch the chin to the chest. Inhale, slowly rotate the head clockwise while coming down Exhale. Rotate the head in anti-clockwise direction. Feel the stretch around the neck and loosening up of the joints and muscles of the neck and release of tension in the neck. People with neck pain and spondylitis should do the practice gently. Trunk twisting. Keep the legs about two feet apart. Raise both the arms up to chest level with the palms facing each other. Exhale. Twist the body towards the right side so that the left palm touches the right shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Now exhale. Twist the body towards the left side so that the right palm touches the left shoulder. Come back with inhalation. Repeat, do slowly with breathing. Avoid this practice in case of vertebral and disc disorders and during menstruation. Relax in standing posture. Knee movements. Inhale, lift your arms up at the shoulder level. Exhale, bend the knees and bring down your body to the squatting position. Inhale, straighten the body. 
repeat two more times. This practice strengthens the knees and hip joints. Avoid this in case suffering from acute arthritis. Exhale while bringing down the hands. Now, let us move to Yogasana. Tarasana. Tar means palm tree. Keep your feet two inches apart. Interlock the fingers and turn the wrist outwards. Inhale. Raise the arms up and bring them in line with the shoulders. Raise the heels off the floor and balance on the toes. Stay in this position for 10 to 15 seconds. This asan brings Bring the heels down parallel to the trunk and come back to a standing posture. Vrikshasana Vriksh means tree. Stand with the feet two inches apart. Focus on a point in front. Exhale, bend the right leg and place the foot on the inside of the left thigh. The heel should be touching the perineum. Inhale and extend the arms up and join the palms. Stay in this position for 10 to 15 seconds and breathe normally. This improves neuromuscular coordination, endurance and alertness. Avoid this practice in case of arthritis and obesity. Exhale and bring the arms and right foot down. And repeat the asan. Bend the left leg and place the foot on the right thigh. The heel should touch the perineum. Inhale. Extend the arms up and join the palms. Relax. Padhastasana. Pada means foot. Hasta means hand. Inhale slowly and raise the arms up. Stretch up the body from the waist. Exhale and bend forward until the entire palm rests on the ground. Maintain this final posture for 10 to 30 seconds. Those who have a stiff back should bend according to their capacity. Now, inhale. Come up slowly to the vertical position and stretch the arms above the head. Exhale and slowly return to the starting position in reverse order. Relax. Ardha Chakrasan. Support the back at the waist. Exhale. Drop the head backwards. Stretch the neck muscles. And bend backwards from the lumbar region. Relax with normal breathing. Stay there for 10 to 30 seconds. Ardha Chakra makes the spine flexible and strengthens the spinal nerves and improves breathing capacity. Inhale and slowly come up and relax. Hypertensive patients shall bend with care. Trikonasan Trikon means triangle. Stand with your feet comfortably apart. Slowly raise both the arms sideways till they are horizontal. Exhale, slowly bend to the right side and place the right hand just behind the right foot. The left arm is straight up in line with the right arm. Remain in this posture for 10 to 30 seconds with normal breathing. 
This prevents flat foot, strengthens the calf, thigh and waist muscles, makes the spine flexible. As you inhale, slowly come up. Repeat for the left side. Avoid this posture in case of slipped disc, sciatica and after undergoing abdominal surgery. Do not go beyond your limits. Padrasan. Let us now get ready for sitting postures. Padrasan. Bhadra means firm. Sit erect with the legs stretched out straight in front. Keep the hands beside the hips. This is Dandasan. Now put the soles of your feet together. Exhale and clasp your hands together over your toes. Pull your heels as close as possible up to the perineum region. This is the final position. Stay here for some time. Padrasan keeps the body firm and stabilizes the mind. Now stretch your leg and come to Vishramasan. Avoid this practice in case of severe arthritis and sciatica. Ardha Ushtrasan. Ushtra means camel. Come to Dandasan. Fold your legs and sit on your heels. Keep the thighs close and the big toes touching. Place the hands on the knees. This is Vajrasan. Now let us start Ardha Ushtrasan. Inhale and rise and stand on your knees. Exhale, keep your palms on the hips with fingers pointing downwards. Keep the elbow and shoulder parallel. Bend the head back and stretch the neck muscles. Inhale and bend the trunk backwards as much as is comfortable. Exhale and relax. This is the final position. Now inhale and come up. Exhale. Put your hands down and sit in Vajrasan. Avoid this asan during abdominal injuries, vertigo and pregnancy. Chashankasan. Chashank means hair. Spread both the knees wide apart. Keep the toes touching. Keep the palms between the knees. Exhale and slowly stretch them full length. Bend forward and place the chin on the ground. Keep the arms parallel. Look in front and maintain the posture. This helps to reduce stress and anger. Inhale and come up. Exhale and come back to Vajrasan. Stretch your legs back to Vishramasan. Patients with osteoarthritis should do this with caution. Vakrasan. Vakra means twisted. Bend the right leg and place the right foot beside the left knee. Bring the left arm around the right knee and place the palm beside the right foot. Exhale. Twist the body and neck to the right. Come to Stretch your legs. Now come back and relax in Vishramasana. This asana increases flexibility of the spine. It helps to overcome constipation, dyspepsia, 
and in the management of diabetes. Repeat the same on the other side. Turn your head back. Take out your hands with exhalation. Stretch your legs. Now come back and relax in Vishramasana. Pujangasana. Now let us be ready for prone postures. Pujangasana. Pujang means snake or cobra. Lie down on your stomach, rest your head on your hands and relax the body. Now join your legs and stretch your arms. Keep the forehead on the ground. Keep your palms beside the chest and raise the elbows. Inhale, lift the chin and chest up to the navel region. This is Pujangasana. This asana is best for stress management. It also helps to manage backache and bronchial problems. Exhale. Rest your forehead on the ground and stretch your arms. Spread your legs. Place your palms and rest your head on the palms and relax. Shalabhasana. Shalabha means a locust. Lie down on your stomach. Now join your legs. Rest the chin on the floor. Keep both hands beside the body. Palms facing upwards. Inhale. Raise the legs off the floor as much as you can without bending the knees. Extend the arms and legs well to ease the lift of the body off the floor. Stay in this position comfortably. This asana helps in sciatica and lower backache. It tones the hip muscles. Now exhale. Bring the legs down towards the floor. Take out your arms and rest on the floor. Cardiac patients should avoid this posture. Makarasana. Makara means crocodile. Lie down on your stomach with the feet wide apart, feet pointing outward. Rest your head on your hands. Relax. This is Makarasana. This asana is practiced for relaxation in all prone postures. It promotes relaxation of the lower back. Setu Bandhasan. Now we move to supine postures. Setu Bandhasan. Setu Band means formation of a bridge. Join your legs. Keep the arms beside the body. Bend both the legs at the knees and bring the heels near the buttocks. Hold both the ankles firmly. Inhale. Slowly raise your buttocks and trunk up as much as you can to form a bridge. Remain comfortably. This is the final position. This asana relieves depression and anxiety. It strengthens the lower back muscles. Now exhale. Slowly return to the original position and relax. Lie down on your back. Please note, women in advanced stages of pregnancy should not practice this asana. Pavan Muktasana. Bend both the knees and bring the thighs to the chest. Interlock the fingers and clasp the shin below the knee. Raise the head and shoulders. Try to touch the knees with the chin. This is Pavan Muktasana. This removes constipation. 
gives relief from flatulence and tones up the back muscles and spinal nerves. Bring your head back. Exhale. Stretch your legs and relax. Avoid this practice in case of abdominal injuries, hernia, sciatica and during pregnancy. Shavasana Shav means the dead body. This asana is meant for complete relaxation. Lie down on your back with the arms and legs comfortably apart. Palms facing upward. Eyes closed. Relax the whole body consciously. Become aware of natural breath and allow it to become rhythmic and slow. Remain in this position till you feel refreshed and relaxed. This asana helps relieve all kinds of tensions and gives rest to both the body and the mind. It is very beneficial in the management of and its consequences. Kapalabhati. It stimulates respiratory centers in the frontal brain. Sit in any meditative posture. Close the eyes and relax the whole body. Inhale deeply. Expand the chest. Ex with forceful contractions of the abdominal muscles. Continue active exhale. Then take a deep breath, exhale slowly and relax. This is one round of Kapalabhati. Each round should be followed by deep breathing. Now, do two more rounds. Kapalabhati purifies the frontal air sinuses, helps to overcome cough disorders. It is useful in treating colds, rhinitis, sinusitis, asthma and bronchial infections. Please avoid this practice in case of cardiac conditions, high blood pressure, vertigo, migraine, stroke, hernia and gastric ulcers. Pranayama Nadi Shodhana or Anulom Vilom Pranayama is alternate breathing through the left and right nostrils. Sit in a meditative posture. Keep the spine straight and the head erect with eyes closed. Relax the body with a few deep breaths. Keep the left palm on the left knee in Jnana Mudra. The right hand should be in the Nasikagra Mudra. Place the right thumb on the right nostril. Breathe in from the left nostril. Close the left nostril 
exhale through the right nostril. Next, inhale through the right nostril. Close the right nostril and exhale through it. Left nostril. This is one round of Nadi Shodhana or Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Repeat for another five rounds. For beginners, the duration of inhalation and exhalation should be equal. Gradually make it one is to two. Inhalation, exhalation. The breath should be slow, steady and controlled. The main purpose of this pranayama is to purify the principal channels of energy. This nourishes the whole body. It induces tranquility, helps to improve concentration. It increases vitality and lowers the level of stress and anxiety. It also elevates cough disorders. Brahmari Pranayam Brahmara means a black bee. During the exhalation of this pranayam, the sound produced resembles the buzzing of a black bee. Inhale deeply through both nostrils. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner, making a deep, steady, humming sound as that of a black bee. This is one round of Brahmari. Repeat two more times. This is a great tranquilizer. It's found good in the management of stress-related disorder. Now do the Brahmari with Shanmukhi Mudra. Close your ears with your thumbs. Place the forefingers on your eyes, middle fingers on the nostrils, ring finger and small fingers on the lips. Open your nose and inhale through both nostrils. Exhale slowly in a controlled manner, making the deep humming sound of a black bee. It is a useful reparatory pranayam for concentration and meditation. Dhyan. Now, let us prepare for Dhyan. Dhyan or meditation is an act of continuous contemplation. Sit in any meditative posture. Keep your spine comfortably erect. Hold Gyan Mudra. Keep your palms facing upwards upon the thighs. Arms and shoulders should be loose and relaxed. Close your eyes and sit with a slightly upturned face. You need not concentrate. Just maintain a mild focus between the eyebrows and be conscious of your breath. Dhyan keeps the mind calm and quiet. It increases concentration, memory, clarity of thought and willpower. It rejuvenates the whole body and mind, giving them proper rest. It helps to develop positive emotions. Meditation leads to self-realization. Continue to be in this state of Dhyan.
to break the limitations of who I am right now and include the entire world as my own. I recognize the kinship of my own life with every other life. I recognize the unity of all there is. End the yoga practice session with Shanti Part or Universal Prayer.
Today, actually, you know, I also wanted uh, ma'am and I would also request all of you to learn Surya Namaskar and practice it as much as possible. So, right now we will have two rounds or maximum three rounds of Surya Namaskar. I don't know how many of you do it, but please learn it properly and it is very good for everybody. Everybody. I was 85 kgs. I am 72 now. <laughs> 72 years old. I am 72 kgs now. And it is basically because of Surya Namaskar. From 84 to 72. It's not only about decreasing the body. It's also about increasing your strength and will. So please learn Surya Namaskar. Madam and I and Ram will also do it. You also do it. Comfortable. Uh, sir, one more thing. Uh, students, uh, today with us, we have a person from uh, Ashwin Pai and his team, the cameraman. They are from ZTV plus Bharat Mirror, right, sir? Yes. Bharat Mirror. So, uh, we welcome them on behalf of JTIT. Thank you. Now, 
Thank you. 